Welcome back to Okami. We left off. We began exploring the sunken ship and ran into freaking giant hands and ghosts and scary things and everything was not okay. And Jesus, come on. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Good over here. I don't like this. I don't like these freaking giant hands. Are not okay. They are not okay. What the heck? We already kind of barrel in the balance side. So why is it still so unbalanced? So close yet so far. Something is happening! Oh yeah, baby, we did it. Oh, now we, now we can go up here and go back to the cannon and go to the key door. Got it. These puzzles, these puzzles are great. The other, I feel like the past two dungeons that we've gone through haven't had a lot of puzzles and have had a lot more enemy fighting stuff instead. I like this one. This one's got a lot more puzzles. Puzzle stuff. A lot of uh, changing water levels, which normally I'd be annoyed by, but with this, it, with this dungeon it works. The thing that annoys me in this dungeon is the obnoxious enemies that show up sometimes. Like this guy right here. This is an example of something in this dungeon that really works. The fact that I can only hit them with the fire steps. Wait, wait, no, I get the key. The door's alone. Oh, that's, that's what I'm going to do. No, please! Ah! Ah! I'm exploding! Scary thing, scary, scary, scary thing. Fills up my entire screen. It's a scary. What the fuck? That didn't even get. What is that? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ooh, a treasure room. Is that a Mario mushroom? No, it's like a circle with an X. I'm done. I swear. Are any of these chests gonna be like freaking. You have to lucky mouse. What is this? Finally, something interesting. Wait, this is a lucky mallet. Is this what you were looking for, baby? The trash shrink them down until they become so small. They make them pass them by the beam. So, to me, such a hard one. I create treasure. But it doesn't provide an answer to Queen Eureka's prayers for this. Hmm. Someone else mentioned an eye of a needle. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was that half-baked prophet, Waka, back in CN City. Remember, he said something like, even the most solid defense is a tiny gap on the other. I think it would have been cool if this could have died like wasn't in there, and you just had to remember it. So I know exactly what we were supposed to do. Well, look to us, it seems what I was looking for was his own ship. Unfortunately, we must leave you for Aw, cheer up, babe. The ocean's a big place, so fine, we can walk somewhere. But maybe so. But going into the ocean now is suicide. Well, as long as the water dragon is still by that is. I think the water dragon ruled the Rio Shore Coast or something. Why is everybody so afraid of it? Well, don't forget we got Amy Bob. Let's check these other chests. You obtain that program set. Oh, please, please, let me attack the freaking boxes. 
Okay, the light ones, the light ones are enemies. I know the difference now. I can tell the difference between the two of them. You have taken a strong beat. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me, get me out of here. Well, I guess that's it for the ship. These dungeons, like, they're very Zelda-like, but they're kind of like short. And what I like about this is it's not just like dungeon, get item, go, dungeon, 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 Zelda formula. It's like they throw the dungeons in when they're necessary and like flick them to the sword. It never resolves to like get the three stones to upgrade your sword. Can't mm -hmm. you swim any faster, Amaterasu? Huh? I mean, what do you expect, babe? He needs a wolf, not a speedboat. Boing, 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 boing. The melon bounce and the pepper swim. Oh, I get it, babe. You want to go to the bathroom, right? What? what? Um. <laughs> we don't. Know. And there's puppy. Puppy, shut. What are you talking at? Don't get him. That's not gonna help. And there's Lucky. nothing but wide open sea all around. Nobody's looking. Go ahead. That's what everyone does. What? No, she doesn't want to go to the bathroom, Lisa. You don't understand! This swelling of the waves is a sign that it's coming! The water dragon. The water dragon's coming. We'll be helpless if we're attacked here! Here we go again. Here we go. If it is that... Water dragon, was it? If it is, we'll take care of the beast in a jiffy. It'll regret the day it messed with us. Why? 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 Whoa, 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 what the? What did you think a water dragon was gonna be? Of course it's freaking huge. Where did that thing come from? She was trying to warn you. Is she literally. How was she just hopping across the water like that? Is that the water dragon? What did you think the water dragon was going to be? You didn't think it was going to be a giant water dragon? Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Um, we're in the middle of the ocean. This is not good. This is not, this is bad news. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's eating me. Did we just get eaten? Huh? Where are we? We're not. Oh, cruel world. I'm too young and handsome to die. Er, in second thought, maybe we just washed up on shore. Did you see what attacked us? It was huge! What the heck was it, Amy? Nobody told me something about, like that was on the loose one here. Water dragon! What did you think water dragon meant? She was looking at the frosty baby. She just took off without us. Boy, I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind the next time we meet. What is that? Hmm? This mallet just jumped out. Oh, that's the mallet. Hey. What did, what, uh, and the, our hammer is running away from us. Good, good, good. This, this is, this is a weird, this is a weird game. Uh, Mr. Maddox, sir. Mr. Maddox, sir. Come here, come here, come here, sir. Come here, sir. Sir, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, Mr. Maddox, sir, Mr. Maddox, sir, come here, sir, come here, come here, come here, Mr. Maddox, sir, Mr. Maddox, Maddox, Kai, Maddox, Kai, that's what we call him from now on, Maddox, Kai, Mr. Maddox, Kai, Mr. Maddox, Kai, come here, sir, come here, Mr. Maddox, Kai. Mr. Mr. Maddox, Kai, you're still running away from me, sir. Let me see. In the next episode. Wait, this episode's only been nine minutes. Okay, never mind. We're gonna keep going. I thought this episode was longer. It's, I mean, I'm not really having to follow it because it's kind of following me. But okay. But it's always just without 
just out of my reach. It follows me around, but it's always just out of my reach. Mr. Malachi, Mr. Malachi, if you'd just come three inches closer. Alright, so I'm, I know what we have to do with this mallet. If you remember where we got the prayer slip, there was a, a hole, and Eason was like, this tiny hole, if we could, there's, there's mist coming out of this tiny hole, and I'm like, maybe we can use the spells, because I thought they were spell, I thought it was a spell book at first, not prayer slips. So, so I was thinking, maybe we could use the spells to go through the, to shrink down and go through the tiny hole. But, turns out we have to use Mr. Maddox Kai to shrink down and go through the, you're back. What, what, did the dragon not eat you or me? I don't, I'm confused on what happened. Hey, baby, what are you doing here? And how come you didn't tell us about that monster? Oh, you did. She did, he said. I, I'm sure I mentioned something about the water dragon, didn't I? Yeah, but you thought she had to go to the bathroom because you were weird. Wow, whatever. Anyway, you better not be trying to trick us. What are you talking about? I was nearly in the water, you know. But however, did you get away? I mean, uh, I worry about what? But however, did you get away? What did you just? What did you just say? Take that back. Amy gets kind of sensitive about her flaws. No, I think you get sensitive about Amy's flaws. Sorry. I like Issa though. It's a way of having the protagonist talk. It's a way of having the protagonist interact with other characters without actually having the protagonist interact with other characters. I'm not sure why I saved again. I mean, I'm really going to need to, but, you know. Okay! I hate when you exit this room, it does that thing that I really hate where games do, where you exit the room and then the door is behind you. So you start walking the direction you would normally walk, forward, the direction you were walking before, forwards, and you end up going back through the door. Also, where is that going? It was up this way. Mr. Manitkai, Mr. Manitkai, sir, please stop bouncing, sir, 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 please come here, sir, sir, Mr. Manitkai, Mr. Manitkai, sir. Ba boing, ba boing, ba boing, ba boing, ba boing. Mr. Malachi, Mr. Malachi, please, sir, uh, please, sir, uh, Mr. Malachi, Mr. Malachi. I will never stop bouncing. A hook, 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 a Mr. Malachi is the name, and bouncing around is my game. No treasures ever escaped the Great Eason. I'm gonna sell you to some greedy merchant and. Hmm. Hey, wait. Check it out, Amy. Isn't this the palace where that swirling mist is coming from? You made us chase you here for a reason, Mallet. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, sir. Wait, I think I get it. The lucky Mallet can shrink people, right? You want to shrink Amy here, don't you, Mr. Malachi? Then you want us to go into that creepy looking hole, don't you? Yep, that's what I want you to do. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Why would Hammerhead here want us to go in there? Still, it might be worth checking out, Amy. Moose Palace has got to be the source of that mist. Queen Miko's not going to do anything about this mess, and it's up to us to find out the thing. Anyway, we haven't found a single brush technique in this darn city. How could we possibly pass up this palace? Okay, Mr. Malachi, go into the hole. Now come on and work your magic on Furball here. Ready to get hammered, Amy? <laughs> Ready to get hammered. Bring it or no way. <laughs> Just take a moment. Are you ready to get hammered, sir? Are you ready to get hammered like me? <laughs> Bring it! Now that's what I wanted to hear. Furball's all yours, Malak. Hammer away. Mr. Malachi swings his hammer down, swing his hammer down, swing it back, up, down, up, down, up, down. Shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down, and into the hole. 
Yeah, he didn't even hit me. He just kind of went, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man, this is cool. We're tiny. Dude. Dude, giant no, grass. It's a minish cap. We're putting... Ah, ha. <laughs> you should see the look on your face. A few shakes of a lucky mallet reduces things to my size. It's not for covering people or anything silly. Boy, I'll never get tired of messing. It's a minish. Boy, I'll never get tired of messing with your head. <laughs> Oh, that's Eason! That's Eason! But now we're like his size, so we can see what he looks like. So he's got like a little face and stuff. Oh, that's cool. You forgot what I looked like already? Now you listen here, Furball. You better remember me this time or else. I'm Eason, the wandering artist. You got it? Dun. Dude. Wandering artist, he said. Times one thousand. <laughs> Besides, I'm so dashingly handsome. Who else could it be? Bet you see me in a new light now. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. Ah, oh, forget it. Oh my gosh, he's got little blood ears. Let's check out the palace. We gotta find out what's beyond, what's behind the swirl of that swirling mist. You may be no bigger than a dust bunny now, but I bet you still got a lot of fight in you. Well, time's a wasted. But there's something you need to know first. I mean, this is like a brand new world to you. A whole new world. I'm here to help you when you really need it. For example, see that chest all wrapped in chains over there? You can guide me over to it with your celestial brush. I'll pop on over and snatch whatever's inside. Oh, so it's like an Okami den where you can, like, where you carry people around and you, like, tr trace a path for them? Now that's what I'm talking about. Heh <laughs> heh, nothing stands in the way of my trusty sword, Denkamaru. Well, listen up, I don't want you getting any funny ideas. I may be one mean sucker, but don't go launching me in monsters. Really? So you have a sword, but you're too lazy to fight the monsters, basically what you're saying. Why am I not surprised? Alright. I think now's a good time to end the episode. Arrivederci!